guys, the first hot take we're going to be talking about today is from Jubert. Um, expensive does not equal good taste. What do you guys think? Yeah, in my opinion, um, a lot of expensive, a lot of expensive things are ass. Philip Line is, exp is expensive and it's just not good. <laughs> oh my god, it's all shit. Wala, wala talaga ako maisip kasi parang cold take lang talaga siya. Para popular opinion na siya and I, I mean, no offense kay Hubert. Uh, I've seen him post post this take two times already. Pero, pero feel ko it's a really cold take. <laughs> uh, let's do it now. I think this one can be a hot topic. So this one's from Sen from the Discord channel. Raf Simon is washed. He's a shell of what he used to be. Thoughts? I don't think so. I think he's just like staying in his lane. All of like the oversized silhouettes and stuff, he's just doing. I think Raph's been around for way too long that people have grown used to what he does. I think people often expect designers to come up with new things every time they put out something. Yeah, exactly. Speaking about whether Raf is washed, I think a lot of it comes from his last two shows and how a lot of people had problems with like how similar they were. For Prada and uh, his last show, I didn't find much similarities outside of the styling, but I know that was like a backlash. Hot take. I think, I'm not sure where this one is from. Is this from Instagram? By Nicolo Carcireni. Tabbies are overrated. What do you guys think? No. <laughs> I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's hype around it. Lots of hype within like the last couple of years, especially. But that doesn't equal to being overrated. I don't think so. I think they're like classic. In context of uh, Filipino fashion, I think na uh, parang di pa siya overrated kasi di siya ganon kasi kat and marami pa rin siguro magasabi na mo ang kabayo o pa tabis. I think I might be the only person here. It's not that I don't like the tabby. I think it looks good. I just can't see myself wearing it. I like tabbies, pero pag healed lang. With me, it's just like, like when people wear a tabby boot and like they wear like an all black outfit, they just look like a ninja. Yeah, it looks good. I like it, but it's just like, I just can't, man. Tabbies are not it for me. We can talk about. This is from user Neon Genesis Evangelista. <laughs> A number of celebrities who are considered as fashion icons don't really dress well. They just look good. Thoughts? I can't think of any like off of the top of my head, but I can definitely agree. Like celebrities, hey stylists, you can tell when they're just choosing clothes for themselves. So you're saying some celebrities don't know how to dress by themselves? There's definitely some that have like peak personal style, but I don't think all of them do. This is from Borat Sagdia. The Fila Disruptors are not ugly. I think with Fila Disruptors, it just like everything. It just comes down to how you style it. You know, like if you're gonna wear it with like skinny denim, skinny legs, bulky feet. Makes you look like a clown. I think, that, I think they are ugly. They're meant to be ugly. I have a question for you guys. Did everyone having Fila Disruptors make you not want to get them? <laughs> I almost bought a pair. They just didn't have my size. I almost, I almost bought a pair. Gonna be honest here, man. Ako sinuot ko siya hanggang mga 2019. Dinalala ko kasi may time na ano na may nagpi pre-order pa nun sa the third world. May time na parang sinasabi na al alternative to triple S. Uh, let's see. Let's do another topic, guys. Hot take. This one is from Stark. Thinking DBTK uh, is shit. Does not make you superior to them. Looking down on hype beasts and Jijimon says cringe does not make you superior <laughs> to them. If you can't provide any constructive criticism, thoughtful discussion to the table, then you can kindly shut the f up. <laughs> I think DBTK by itself isn't bad. I think it's it's okay. I won't buy it, but it's okay. I, I like having them around. Karamihan din naman ng mga nagdulok dan sa DBTK pangit din naman yung mga sinasot nila. Kasi no pa, kasi no pa yung malakas mag trash talk sa DBT kasi sila pa yung pinakapangit yung outfits. <laughs> oh, here's one. Oh, it's from CP. He says, "Skinny jeans aren't dead. Y'all just don't know how to style them tastefully." What do you guys think? I don't necessarily wear skinny jeans. They just look like it. I have really big legs, slim denims. You boys think, yeah. <laughs> um, 
And you know, they just look kind of skinny on me. I think they still look good. It, it also could be like a whole trend thing where everyone's moving towards like wider silhouette of pants. I don't think it's dead. People still wear them really, really well. Uh, ako naisip ko, yung mga nagsasabi ng skinny jeans are dead, parang mga taong kakamove pa lang nila sa sa wider pants, ganun. Kaya na, kaya parang nasasabi nila yun. Yeah, yung isa pang medyo pangit kasi sa ganung mindset kapag kunwari sabihin na ng dead, parang paano pag na, paano pag di nauso yung wide or flared? Mga 2 to 3 two to three years later, sasabi mo rin ba na dead na rin yung ganun tapos balik ka ulit skinny. So pag ganun para parang pangit yung ganung mindset na kapag hindi na on trend, sasabi mo ang dead. Ay, ano, siguro mas maganda yung mindset. Choose what fits your body or kung saan ka, kung saan ka mas comfortable. So guys, this is from CP. Just because you're dressing androgynously doesn't mean you're doing something. A lot of dudes only wear skirts just for the sake of wearing one. These people don't even care for proportions and silhouettes. Just riding the hype train and trying to dress androgynously, but reality is that they're just in it for the clout. What's your guys' thoughts? I think it's true. It's very, uh, it's very performative if you do it if you do it that way. I'm all for, ano, representation pati empowerment. Pero minsan kasi kapag ginagawa mo lang para masabihan ka na destroying Gan- destroying standards, ganun. Parang, parang pangit talaga pag ganun lang yung purpose mo. Kung, kung magsasuot ka ng ganun, maganda siguro kung pinag-isipan para pag nakita ng iba, uh, makakonvince sila na, uy, uh, uy, ganda nito, parang gusto ko rin gayahin. Kapag ganun kasi yung siguro mas maraming, mas maraming magiging open mind. Yung katulad sa, yung sa recent dress na, nag-recent dress, si, sino ba yung nag-dress? Palibutin ko. Kid Cudi? It didn't fit well. It it looked it looked really awkward. He had he had such a big platform to like to do something really well made. Yeah, and speaking of like the kid Cudi thing too, it's definitely to me comes off as a very clout driven thing. Like he was saying that uh, he was paying tribute to Kurt Cobain with the dress, and I think that's fine all by itself paying tribute, right? But it's like you're paying tribute wearing this dress, but you're also releasing a collaboration with Off-White. So it's like, were you wearing it really to pay tribute or are you just trying to grab people's attention? So like, oh, I wore a dress. Oh, it was for Kurt Cobain. Um, this is the end of the first casual talks with FFT. Thank you for listening. If you guys have any different opinions or anything like that, sound off on the comments of the video. Do it. You know, I like to see, I think all of us, Uh, and everyone on the Discord loves to see discussion, so go ahead, discuss, give us some constructive criticism. Just don't attack us personally, please.